Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to be using the Simon Says Dance Party Like a Panda card kit and I'm going to do actually 11 cards this time and an extra little project. So I'm just going to jump right in and kind of skip the unboxing because I'm sure you've seen it already. I'm going to start with card number one and I'm just a standard A2 size card for it and a quarter by five and a half and I cut down this panel just to be slightly smaller so it's four by five and a quarter and then I'm using these double stitched um, oval, actually they're not double, they're single stitched, just the oval dies, and I created a little frame, which I'm going to place kind of towards the top of my card. I also cut out another oval with the white, and that will fit on the inside, and then I wanted like a little piece of green, so I used a stitched hillside border to create that little, little piece of grass for my panda to be standing on. I'm going to pop this up using some foam tape. But before I pop it up, I want to put my little characters on there. So I'm going to place my panda in the middle and kind of put the present in the hat. And I'm going to put the present down first and then pop up the whole thing. Put his little hat on his head. And then, like I said, it's on some foam tape. I also stamped my sentiment. I'm here for the party and all the cake. And then I've got these little hearts, and these are by Doodlebug, so they go really well with the paper. I'm going to place a few of those around, and that is going to complete card number one. Simple, easy, uh, cute card. And I did most all of my coloring off camera. Um, I did not do any of the coloring on the film because otherwise this, this video would be super long. So for card number two, I wanted to do an interactive card because you guys know I kind of set some goals for myself for my 10 card kit videos and I'd like to do interactive cards along with uh, shaker cards and some fun stuff so this is going to be using the Lawn Fawn picture changer and so I'm going to be using the oh my gosh it's party time for the top of the picture changer and I didn't really show too much about how to put this together because it actually took me because this was the first time I'd ever used this it took me a minute to figure out how to I actually had to go watch the video, the Lawn Fawn video, because I couldn't figure out how to get them to go together. So I, I did this off camera, and um, if you have this die and you're trying to figure out how to use it, I really do um, encourage you to go to the Lawn Fawn's website because they have really great tutorials on how to put all of their, their fun little interactive cards together. So here it is. You got to kind of slide it through the slots and it's interesting. So then you just peel off your double-sided tape and close it up and then this is pretty much it. You do kind of have to run it back and forth a few times just to kind of loosen it up because it, it is a little tight at first. Um, but once you've loosened it up, it, it slides really easily. So it's, oh my gosh, it's party time on the outside and then happy birthday on the inside. That stitched frame die, the square there, that actually comes with the picture changer. And then I just took a regular, I figured out the size, and I just took one of my own stitched um, square dies to cut out an opening in the front so that I could make my own um, pattern paper on the top of that. And then I cut out a little frame out of the white cardstock, and I'm going to place that right over the top. And there it is, working just fine. This is such a cute little, such an adorable um, interactive card and so many so so many uses for it but for this one I wanted to make a super cute little um, panda party going on so I'm going to place some of that doll pink cardstock on the top of my A2 card base along with some of the kind of lighter pattern I have a lot of pattern going on here so I didn't want to get too crazy um, and then I'm just going to kind of go through and pop up and place presents and pandas and party hats and all that good stuff along the bottom of my on my card here and you can see still a little bit tight but I promise you by now because I've played with it so many times it's working just fine. I forgot that I had this pen <laughs> that it came in the kit and that's the shimmer pen so I went over the hat and I think I just went over a couple of the bows with it, but that was pretty much it on this one. I did go back on some of the other cards because I realized after a little while that I had that, and I did add to some of the other ones. So you may see in the pictures, you'll see some sparkle pen that wasn't there when I was doing the actual cards because these aren't in order. I kind of mixed them up a little bit. So for card number three, this is one of my favorites, and 
I'm just going to take a black card base and then I just took a white panel and I took some of the sentiments and I went all the way around kind of evenly doing it um, kind of mirroring side to side some of the sentiments that came in the pack and then I'm going to use this little scalloped frame another black border with the white and I wanted this center to be real simple because I really liked that frame um, so I didn't want to go too crazy on the inside so I'm going to use the die that came in the kit, the little panda. I'm just going to put him together right on that white panel and I'm just using the black and white felt that also came in the kit. Super easy. And then I'm going to pop that up right there in the middle and then just give him a little, pop up this little present right next to him just so it looks like he's got something on on that panel and then that is going to complete that card. Super cute. Love that one. Here's close up. And now on to card number four. Here's where I start with my shaker card. And so I made, um, this one's kind of like a boy themed shaker card and you're gonna end up seeing a second shaker card because my daughter was like, hey, where's the girl one? So then I ended up making two. So for this one, I cut out my frames using the um, stitched rectangle dies. And I cut out one in black and then a thinner one out of that um, teal colored paper that came in the kit. I'm also placing down my background using some more of that. So this is a great paper because you can do boy cards, girl cards, or boy and girl cards all, all together. So on the inside of my shaker card, I wanted to say party time. So I'm kind of lining that up now before I put my shaker together. I stamped that out using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And now I'm going to place that on my card base. And I've smudged that ink before, not giving it enough time to um, completely dry. So this time, I'm, that's why I'm kind of not touching it. Now to make sure that some of my shaker pieces stay up towards the top so that they're not always at the bottom, I'm going to glue a few to the inside panel. And then I'm just going to kind of dump the rest in the middle. And I made my own little shaker mixes um, to kind of match my my cards here because the color palette was so um, it's all primary colors, beautiful pinks and blues and yellows and purples and um, but there's so many of them and I don't always use them all in the same card. So I ended up stamping out all of my images and coloring them as I kind of designed each card rather than doing the stamping everything and coloring it all at once in the beginning. So this kit actually is why this video was a little late. It took me a little bit longer to do than normal, but ideas just kept going and going and going. So I ended up actually making 11 cards instead of 10. This little cake die is from one of the Spellbinders kits. And um, I thought it went really well with the whole party like a panda theme. So I did use uh, on a couple of different cards, I did use some of the elements from the Spellbinders um, I think this was, I want to say a small die of the month, one of the small die of the month kits. So now I'm just going to kind of arrange all of my, my little panda elements and my party stuff, my balloons, all around my cake. Those candles were also a part of that Spellbinders little die kit. I'm going to pop up these balloons. And then we've got the little presents at the bottom. So one will be flat and the other will get popped up. And as if there wasn't enough going on here, um, I added some, I ended up adding some sequins. I thought I was done right here and then I was looking at the cake and I have still had some sequins left over. So I decided to add some sequins to the cake. So before I put this away, along with the sparkle, the shimmer pen. So there is sequins on the cake and that will complete this card. Super cute. That's a really cute boy card. Um, for this, I have a planner, and this is one of those um, planners that I got from Prima, and I love this planner, and I really wanted to start using it since I have so many different projects and things that I'm trying to do, so I decided that I was going to decorate it. This is also a heavy birthday month for me, for my family, so I decided to decorate it up with this, with all these little pandas, because it's completely blank. So this is actually the first month I'm starting it, so every month I'm going to decorate this 
this little planner and this is what I came up with for this one. On to card number five. It's a longer card. So this one is three and a quarter by seven. Um, I don't know where I came up with that. I just cut, it just looked right. <laughs> and then I cut some of the blue paper. Actually, I think that's a different blue from my stash because I believe I used all of the blue that came in the kit. So that's not even the same blue as what um, came in the kit, but it's close. And then I did like a little scene here where I had to mask some stuff off. And then I wanted some dimension. So I also cut and colored some little presents and the hat because I messed up. <laughs> Instead of putting the hat on the top, when I was doing my masking, I put the hat on the bottom. Because, but no problem. Just cover that up with a cute little, little three-dimensional one. Pop up a couple of presents around the scene. I also made the background um, by using some of the alcohol markers, where I just barely touched the page all around to kind of make it look like a little confetti party back there, so it wasn't just plain stark white. And it's going to say birthday, so just happy birthday. Use the shimmer pen on pretty much everything, and that will complete that card. Here's a little close-up. I don't do a lot of those cards where I have to mask, because I don't have masking paper, and I keep saying I'm going to buy some, and I keep forgetting to buy it. So, For this one, it's another shaker card. This is the girl one to make my daughter happy, and this was her idea to try to make. She wanted the entire uh, front panel to be a cake. Well, I don't have any dies that do that, so I thought, well, let's try it with the um, stitched rectangle and the stitched square. And then once I put it together, I thought it was kind of plain. And so I decided to decorate it with some little elements to put like on the front of the cake, like as if it was like a fondant around the outside of the cake. I don't know. It, it ended up working out. She really likes it. And that's all that matters because it's actually her card. So it's her birthday. Hers was that 14 that was on there that had the big on the planner. That's her day. So here it is filled with all of her little pretties. She, and everything sparkly and she is all over it. So now I took these and I kind of cut them down to make like a little fondant type area on the cake. I just kept trimming stuff and fitting it in so that it would go kind of over the cake. And then I just used glue. You can see it on my arm there because I didn't want to use, I had a little too much on there and I didn't want it to get all over the acetate. So I used my arm to kind of sop some of it up. And now put another little piece on the top. And then for the middle one, I have this punch that punches out these adorable cupcakes and I love this love 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 this little punch and so I'm just going to kind of trim them down and I'm going to put the cupcakes in the middle and then I'm just going to start placing my little characters all around this page page this card I want to use the balloons and he's going to have a little party hat on I also have a present there top of presents one of the last one will be popped up put his little party hat on his head and then for sentiment, it's the party like a panda sentiment, which I'm going to place right in the middle of the cake. I also put some of those hearts around just so there wasn't so much white space. And that's it. There is my daughter's birthday card. Super cute. The ideas for this kit just kept coming and coming and coming. And that's why I ended up with extra stuff on this, on this video. So for card number seven, um, again, I wanted to use that die. I love that little die, and I wanted to use some more of the felt, the black and white felt that came in the kit. So I just cut out some circles, and I'm going to pop out of, I used the orange um, side of the pattern paper, and then I cut out some circles using the same circles that I used to cut out the circles in the orange paper using some different ones. I placed my little pandas on there, trimmed them down, and now I'm just going to attach them inside of each one of the little circles. And I'm going to make them each kind of in different directions. I also have these balloons with the little strings. Those are, I can't even tell you where I got those, but um, if I were to take a guess, I would say CC Designs. I've had them forever. But they make cute little accents, and I cut the balloons out of the pattern paper. And just going to kind of place them around the card, trim off any excess. 
And then this is another um, same party like a panda because why not? There's so many pandas. One more balloon at the top with the little string. And then we still have some sequins and stuff left over from our girl pack, our, our little girl shaker card. So I'm just going to place those all around the page just to give it a little extra shimmer. And then that, I believe, will complete this card. Is that adorable? So cute. Love that. Love that card. And we will move on to card number eight. So for this one, I really wanted to use that the balloons that came in the stamp set, um, but they were really hard to fussy cut out. So I decided to do a background, and you saw my little um, wonky ditched, I don't even know what these are called, I forgot the name of them, but I love that kind of like broken edge, um, crazy design around the outside, and those I got, uh, those are my cat scrappiness, I have a lot of dyes from, from their shop, some very reasonably priced dyes, it's a good place to get your foundation stuff going, and then I've got the little wobbler on the bottom of this, so my little guy wobbles, this is so cute. And then some of the presents again, which I'm going to pop up and place around. I also popped up birthday. And you see on the side there is I'm using fun foam to pop up some of this stuff. Because fun foam is thinner than my other foam. So that way I can have three levels of, so flat to the card base, fun foam, and then regular foam behind the other one. So that way there's three different layers there. Now I did go back and change something later, so I have some little hearts that I'm going to add right above the panda, like three little white hearts. And then after I did that, I kept looking at it and thought I really wanted something else. So I ended up doing the confetti just like I did before, but this time I used gel pens. So I have a bunch of gel pens and I just used a bunch of different colors around it. This one's my least favorite card, but it was the fastest. And I just took the stamp set and used just the clear... Clearmark um, ink and just made a little background right there and then I'm just using layers. I also have this big huge um, happy birthday die right there and that's a Darice die and I just kind of I use both the blue and the pink and I offset them a little bit and then I have it popped up on some fun foam. And now I'm just kind of going around to give the background just a little bit of color. So I'm using the white gel pen and kind of a matching greenish blue and pink. And we're just going to go around and kind of color in some of these hearts. I use the white on those little starbursts that are all around the page. And I wanted to add one more little heart at the bottom so that that pink would even out. So I'm just going to place one more and color that in. And that's pretty much going to do it for this. Um, for this card. I didn't really do much else to it. I kept it real simple. It was a very fast card. So, but there it is, all done. And now we're going to move on to card number 10. These little banners are also a part of that cake die from Spellbinders die set. So what I decided to do here was to take my smile die, which is another one from Doris, and I'm going to just cut it straight out of the panel that I'm going to be placing my little scene on. So I want to put my little panda right there in the middle and I wanted to put some color behind him. So I'm just going to take a little ripe persimmon, persimmon and I'm just going to make a nice little splattering of it right behind where my scene is going to go. I have a regular A2 size card base and some of the pattern paper. I did pop up the black panel and now I'm going to place that. And the reason why I put the black panel was so that you could see that through the smile sentiment at the top. So it's more of an inlay kind of look. And now I'm just going to kind of place these banners along behind where my scene is going to go, like there's a party back there. And I'm going to pop him up in the middle and do the little scene around him. Since my banner didn't go all the way to the side, I thought that was a good place to put that present. Kind of cover that up. I also stamped off camera, it's party time, so that smile goes with, there's a finish to that. And then some of the hearts, and we're done. There's a close-up of this one. Super cute. I love this card. I think it's adorable. 
on to card number 11. So I was done at 10, and then I realized I hadn't used the little sad panda. So I decided to um, make an 11th card so that you can see the little panda. And this card idea came off of Pinterest. And if I can remember, I, I can go back and look and see so I can give credit to the person that did this card. But it's, I loved the um, way that it looked. So I am giving it my own little twist and using it for this because I just think it's an adorable design. And it's a way for me to use up some of these strips that I had. I have lots and lots of little pieces left over. So I want this one to say, oh my God, did I seriously forget your birthday? So I just kind of placed my little panda there to make sure I was stamping it in the right place. And now I'm going to pop up my panda, place the little present kind of behind him because I felt like he needed a little something on the other side there. So I'm just going to tuck it behind him. And then I, I had these uh, also... Um, I want to say those were Queen and Company. Those might be Queen and Company. Or, or hmm, I'm not sure. But they went. So I ended up putting three little uh, sparkly dots at the bottom. And now I'm going to use my sparkle shimmer pen. Actually, I didn't use the sparkle shimmer pen. I just stopped right there. And that's that. So now I'm going to run through all 11 cards. There's that one you just saw. And happy birthday, plain, plain Jane, but quick. Shaker card for the girl. I love how he just kind of bounces on there. So here are all of my card projects, and I really, really do appreciate you guys stopping by. I um, hope you got some ideas. I know I'm a little late to the game. Uh, the Spellbinders kit should be coming here in a few days, so I can get started on my 10 cards for that one. And um, so, yeah, I'll see you back here hopefully real soon, and I really do appreciate it again. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.